We're in the gate gym, so a lot of treadmill training and walking happens in this room. We're using the Zero G bodyweight support system right now with the treadmill. It not only can take off a little bit of body weight, so it's easier for Nikki to work, it also provides a fall protection. So, you know, Nikki's not gonna fall in this harness. There's a setting in it where if she moves more than four inches, it will just stop, the treadmill stops. So it's a nice confidence thing too. The other really cool piece of technology that we have in the gate room is the local mat. And the local mat is robotic body weight supported treadmill training. There is a harness that suspends a person's body weight and then there are robotic legs that we attach to the patient and it actually moves their legs at the hips, knees, and the ankles to provide a normal gait pattern. Tighten it, come on, tighten. Yes, good. That was nice timing too. Patients uh, come for computerized gait analyses. They uh, do one of several things. So we get them first into some uh, kind of slim fitting attire. We place a series of reflective markers over uh, various specific bony landmarks of the body. Putting stickers on me? What, uh, after the stickers get put on you, do you know what is gonna happen next? Walk. Excellent. So Sheena Lee came home from China in um, September of 2015, and then since that time she's had um, three surgeries, an eye surgery and then bilateral hip surgery and a tendon lengthen surgery. She has cerebral palsy, spastic quad type, um, and does PT a lot, right? And working on walking and getting more mobile. As they walk up and down our runway, then the 16 motion capture cameras are taking uh, pictures at 120 frames per second in very specific locations of where each of those reflectors are that we can then reconstruct and analyze and carefully graph their walking against normal walking. Um, we also have force platforms that are embedded within the runway that can allow us to uh, measure forces that are occurring between the foot and the ground that allow us to calculate um, torques or moments, if you will, that are happening at the ankles, the knees, the hips. We also have technology that allows us to uh, measure their foot pressure pattern during walking um, that we will uh, utilize in each of these cases to try and better understand where they're bearing the most pressure. Ultra G works on uh, differential air pressure and that'll uh, de-weight uh, the individual up to 80% of their body weight will be removed so they'll be walking with 20% uh, of their body weight on their lower extremities. So yeah, now you're just gonna calibrate you. Benefits of the Ultra G are you're able to rehab a little sooner and also it's a lot safer because we're able to use objective criteria in terms of progressing patients um, in their weight bearing status and returning to run and uh, we can use that criteria of weight bearing symmetry, cadence symmetry, step length symmetry, their pain you know, and also it really helps with uh, patient motivation that they can start doing things that they like to do and love to do sooner than they were able to before. I was having a lot of pain while I was dancing, especially on point. So I came here to Mary Free Bed with Christy to do physical therapy and make my foot stronger. Probably use it mostly with foot and ankle patients, but then also with knee and hip patients. And uh, also, um, if people are having uh, pain in their spine, it'll also de-weight them to a certain extent so that they can walk um, at a more comfortable level. You're in excellent hands when you're here at Mary Free Bed. They say body in motion stays in motion, and um, you know I was never a runner before. You know I did it in sports because I had to, just kind of be, you know, be a leader and showing people that it can be done. And um, you know if you if you do put in hard work, that you do get the results. Wow, Keith, awesome. This is beautiful. Whatever you want to be, you can be it. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. Mary Freebed has kind of restored the fact that um, that's true.